What's even more interesting is some recent research that's coming out that shows that the effects of having a smartphone around go much deeper than just the distractions that come with calls or alerts or notifications and so forth. Last year, there was a study published uh, that was done by a team of researchers led by a, a guy, a cognitive psychologist at the University of Texas at Austin, um, that in this, in this research, they gathered a group of 500 people, uh, 500 students, and they gave them two tests of basic intellectual function. One was a test of uh, what's called working memory capacity, basically how much brain power you can apply to a given problem uh, or a given task in front of you. And the other was a test of fluid intelligence, your ability to make sense of a situation or problem you've never seen before. These are the, essentially, these are tests of intelligence, um, very standard tests. Um, so they gave these tests to these 500 people, and the only thing that differed was where the people's phones were when they took the tests. Uh, one group had their phone with them and actually sitting in view on the desk as they did the tests. But, and this is a very important point, the phone was turned off completely. Uh, but it was just sitting there within view. Another group had their phone with them, but it was out of sight in their pocket or in their bag next to them. And the third group had their phones outside in a different room. It turned out that there was a big significant difference in how these people performed. The ones who did best on the two tests were the ones whose phone was outside of the room. The ones who did in the, in the middle were the ones who had their phones with them but hidden from their view. And the ones who did the worst by a significant margin were the ones who had their phones in view. Now, as I say, all of these phones were turned off for this test. It was just the proximity of the device that influenced how the people thought and how they performed. It was almost as if, you know, as your phone gets closer to you, it kind of sucks more brain power out of your skull into the phone. In this, this, these results, this was a very good test, very well designed test, and these, re these results have been confirmed by other experiments. Also last year there was a similar um, research published uh, it was undertaken, it was conducted at the University of Arkansas, one of the campuses of the University of Arkansas. And in this case, they did something very similar. They had a group of people um, take a test, but it was a test in a real world situation. Uh, people came in and listened to a college lecture. I think there were about 140 or 150 people in the test. Uh, and then afterward, they took an exam uh, that measured their ability to recall uh, and retain the information in the lecture. It was a complex lecture and a difficult test. Uh, what they found is people, students who leave their phones outside of the classroom scored a whole letter grade higher on the exam than the students who had their phones with them. And it didn't matter whether they used the phones or didn't use the phones. They all performed equally poorly. So kind of, you know, what Jerry said in the start here that, you know, silence your phones. I'm glad you did, but on the other hand, it probably doesn't make a big difference. Uh, you're probably all a little bit stupider because you have your phones <laughs> with you. I hate to deliver the, the bad news. Mm -hmm.